So this next one is going to be a, like a, a 70s style funk groove. And this is the perfect period of, uh, in music uh, where you have a lot of bands, you know, a lot of funk bands, funk as a genre. And there's just so many cool little guitar parts that are just uh, are based around the same concepts we're looking at. So on this one, we're going to be in the key of A minor. And we're going to be using just some basic triad shapes, like and uh, a major triad. And uh, it's going to go to the four chord in this case, and that's D. And it's going to be a D sus. Going to uh, a D7. And, um, and we're going to see how we can uh, get some funk out of these out of these major minor triads. So what we have here, we're taking our, our just a minor triad voicing. Listen now that. So. hear those different colors against the A. That's just straight A minor. Now you get in the, 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 the fourth and, and the sixth and the nine against it. And then with the C triad, then you're getting the, the, the flat seven in the chord, watch. Which is a different sound than that's just, just there's your straight A minor. But then when you have the C triad, you're getting the, the, the flat seven in there. And then from, from this voice in here, then just a half step uh, that's coming down a half step to your to your uh, to your minor triad and voicing shape here. And then and then a little slide down. with a little slide, and then. And then, uh, when it, we'll, we'll get to the rhythm next. And then, to the on the D, it's actually a, 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 a D7 going to a D sus. So starting on the, uh, again, using a small shape here. So that's the flat, flat uh, seven, third. And then what's making it cool is, you know, going up to the four here, then you're getting those seconds again. That gives that, that little extra bite. So you're getting this. That's against the D. back to the one again and uh, second time around I wanted to switch it up so we could look at another voicing for for that for the D7 chord which we've used before and that is having the seconds there the nine and the third in that voicing with the root on top and now when you move up to the four You get that second with a little release. A second with a release. Whereas before we had a... And then that second is adding that little tension here. Watch. And that, listen to the difference in that sound. Against the D. Ah. As opposed to... Because I voiced it up here, then um, I ended it, you know, just going to these fours, just to get this that that motion 
of that little melody there. So now let's talk about the rhythm of it. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're subdividing 16th notes again. And uh, you may have noticed that, you know, keeping, you know, those, that right hand going as part of your, you, that's a, it's like you're starting up your, your engine there. And that should just, you know, you're feeling that even when you're not playing. This is what I mean. You know, so the rhythm, it's a simple rhythm. The we, three, four. You know, so you're jumping in, the, you, you're, you, that, the, the feel of that bop, 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 dee da, bop, 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 da da, bop, bop, bop. You know, and, and slow it down if, if, you're, if, you know, it's always great to slow these things down because then you know that you're really feeling what it is that you're playing. And again, listen to those articulations. And a lot of times, or most of the time, when I'm doing these kind of 16th note grooves, you know, one way to approach it, uh, I'll should give you an example, and, and this may be a way that you might like to do it. Um, with the constant scratching, it sounds like this. You know, and that's a great way to do it too. However, in the example, and, and generally when I'm doing these kind of funky parts, I'm thinking about those 16th notes against the eighth note pulse. And that's like. See what I'm. And that's a little bit different than. This is a difference in the sound. As opposed to, or, you know, they're both great. So here again, you know, I'm trying to show you something here for you to develop, you know, what works for you and what's going to help create your own, you know, funky guitar uh, style. And again, as with a lot of these examples, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're playing kind of groove and, and when you want your playing to be funky, a, a great way to do has a lot of it has to do with the articulation of the instrument, you know, the dynamics of those strokes and the difference between going bop or, or, you know, these are the subtleties that you're, you know, these little things that you're listening for. Because, you know, there's not a lot there that's technically hard to play, but it, what it's about is the feel of it. You know, and, uh, you know, can't stress that enough that um, the importance of practicing with a metronome and working on subdividing the 16th notes, and this is a, a you know, a simple enough rhythm to really hone in on that. You know, it's dot, bop, bop. Or. And wait, that's cool too. Um, so play around with those different, you know, 16th note scratch fields. You know, sometimes, you know, see if you can find the 16th notes within the, the you know, the eighth note kind of machine or, or the 16th uh, scratching machine. And, and play around with it and find out what works for you and, and lock in that groove.